Hi guys, this is Oliver and today we are going to review Meg 2 The Trench. It's a sequel to The Meg released in 2018 and these Meg movies are based on the books by the same name. I loved the first movie, such a classic, it really is and it's easily one of my favorite horror movies of all time which is saying a lot because I've seen a lot of horror movies if you don't believe me, then you can check out my Oliver Ekman horror movie reviews. So, so go check those videos out on my YouTube channel. These movies are a mixture of action and horror. So yeah, without further ado, let's do this. Let's review the movie. Let's get started. Well, let's start with what I liked about the movie. First of which, the CGI in this movie looked amazing, it really did. The CGI on the Meg, visually, it looks amazing, it's beautiful to look at. Most recently, there have been a lot of movies with bad CGI and stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, so, so for this movie to have, uh, actually have amazing CGI, it was so refreshing to watch. Finally, thank god. And the, oh, the CGI on, on the dinosaur from uh, the trailer, it also looked great and the CGI on the Kraken looked amazing, it really did. And the fight between the Meg and the Kraken was epic and awesome. Remember that scene from the first movie when the Meg attacked the octopus? That amazing and creepy scene. Imagine that scene but even cooler and even more action packed. And in this scene we actually saw what was going on, the actual fight instead of having it, having it from the human's perspective and stuff like that. So that, that made it really cool. And uh, just the, the climax of the movie in general, the entire climax on the beach and stuff like that, it was with the, with the Kraken and the Meg, and, and just Staten riding on a jet ski, facing off against the Megs. That was so epic and awesome, it really was. It was freaking awesome. So freaking awesome, awesome sauce. And seeing it on the big screen it was such an amazing experience, it really was. And I actually watched this movie in, in 3D. Yeah, that was, it was really cool, it really was. Speaking of the action scenes, the action scenes in this movie were amazing. And especially the hand-to-hand -hand combat fights in this movie were amazing. Like, so good, so damn good. Like, they were so well choreographed, very well shot. And they were so fun and entertaining to watch. And I can't wait until this movie come, comes out on Blu-ray so I can rewatch those amazing hand-to-hand -hand combat fight scenes, action scenes. Uh, this movie easily has uh, some of the best hand-to-hand -hand combat fight scenes, action scenes that I've seen in, in a movie in 2023 so far. Similar to the first movie, this movie has a great mixture of action and horror. And I just talked about how amazing the action scenes were in this movie. And this mo movie also had so, some great horror. The jump scares in this movie, they were great. There were some jump scares in this movie and they were great. Uh, the scene when they are in the trench itself, uh, it, w it was really creepy. It really was in there, and there were some great jump scares during that scene, and I was really on the edge of my seat during this scene. So it's such a great scene. I knew that Jason Statham wouldn't die because obviously he is a Jason Statham, but I was really worried for the rest of the characters besides him because I knew because it is the main character of the movie. He has plot armor. Speaking of the characters, I really liked most of the characters in this movie. Well, the returning characters from the first movie were amazing as always. Jason Statham was amazing. He really was. His performance in this movie was so good. They, well, they should nominate him for an Oscar for this movie because his his performance in this movie was so good. It really was and he was really cool, really funny and, and I loved his cheesy one-liners. They were amazing as always. Yeah, I love Jason Statham in this movie. And I also really liked uh, uh, the black guy from the first movie. He uh, returned for this movie and he was amazing in this movie. He really was. I love that his character had grown from the last movie. In the first movie, he, he couldn't swim, but here in this movie, he could swim. And uh, and he was very strong, he was stronger, and he was, and he was really funny and, and really cool. And yeah, he was epic and awesome in this movie. Him and Jason Statham, they were easily the best characters in the entire movie. And uh, yeah, I, lo I love them in this movie. And I also really liked all, all, all the little kid from the first movie, except now she is a 14 year old, so way older than before. And she was great and cute as always. And then also the dog Pippin, from the uh, she returned from the first movie and she was great and cute as always. Let's move on with what I did not like about the movie. First of all, 
But the returning characters were amazing, a lot like I just explained, but I thought the new characters that, that, that they tried to in introduce, I didn't really care about, and I wasn't really that invested in the story here. And I don't understand why did, why did they go, go down to, to the trench? It's a very stupid idea. And the only reason why they did it, it was so that the movie could happen. And also, even though I really liked the Meg itself in this movie, at times it was completely sidelined to focus on other stuff and the worst there and there was way too much going on at the same time it, it felt a lot like i was watching two movies squeezed into one movie one movie being uh, in the trench uh, while another movie being on land fighting megs and the kraken i really enjoyed the meg too i thought it was a lot of fun i think it, it wasn't nearly as amazing as the first film, but I still thought it was a lot of fun. And I thought I was the only one who liked this movie, but apparently my best friend Aid liked the movie even, even more than I did. And he has seen the movie twice in theaters, so and he hasn't seen the first movie yet. You don't have to watch the first one to understand this one. And, and seeing Jason Statham riding on a jet ski while facing off against Megs was epic and awesome it really was it was freaking awesome and i really hope we get a meg free to close out of the trilogy anyways guys that's it for my review of the meg 2 of the trench uh, i really hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye